Every neighborhood has to have at least a store with that one employee who stands out. That employee always makes you feel welcome and treats you like a friend. Well, where I'm from, we have Rotten Robbie, and inside, there was Alex. And one summer, he disappeared, and no one has seen him since. Well, that's about to change. I'm Jose Ruiz, and this is Finding Alex. contact of Alex around the summer of 2014 or 15, I can't really remember that well, but before, he was always there, you know, after Ron Robbie was remodeled, but before, it was this little box thing in the middle of the gas tank, so you could, you know, uh, that little box thing, you could pay for your gas, and you could get snacks and stuff, but uh, after remodeling it, they turned into an actual store like the one you see right now, and, you know, inside you could get your candies, your beer, your soda, and even your, even your pickles, you know, your <laughs> Your little pickles in a bag. Anyways, after remodeling it, my friends and I would always go inside and, you know, we'd see Alex and he'd greet us with the signature, Sub Deezer, you woke up like that, which is, uh, pretty funny back then, but it's pretty, it's pretty old now. But, you know, we, we'd see him and, you know, he'd be like, Sub Deezer, and he'd say, hey, and, you know, everything was great until one day I came back from uh, vacation in Mexico, and the next time we went, he wasn't there. had the most beautiful smile that I've ever seen on anybody. And his face was so gentle, yet so strong. And his eyes were so big and doughy, and they were so shiny and full of life that they were the first thing that you noticed when you entered Rotten Robbie. Not the chips, not the soda, not the beer. Just those eyes. And his skin, I've never touched it before, but I feel like they were really smooth. Like, they were like almost like fine wood. And he looked so cuddly and plushy that he reminded me of a teddy bear. And thinking about these now, these reasons, you know, it gets me to think that it's a real big shame that I didn't get to know him more. You know? A real big shame. So right now I'm going to be walking around town and I'm going to be posting these around. And I'm also going to be slipping them inside of uh, cars. I've started making posters post around the town to see if anybody has seen them or not, and if they have, they could just email the email that I put on there. And I've also covered them with tape, so because like it's it's the rainy weather, so I don't want them to get soaked or anything. So hopefully the tape will protect it. God damn it! I really hope this works. With every passing day, more and more people shall become more aware of Alex. Now today, we did some good progress, but it's just not good enough for me. There has to be more to the story and there has to be more evidence to find this dude. I will look in every area, under every rock, and in every Rotten Robbie, and nothing in the world shall stop me. Don't worry Alex, I'm coming for you my dude. This is Jose Ruiz. And I'll see you next time on Finding Alex.